Okay guys, welcome back to the third episode for this Python challenge series. As we can see on the actual website, there's some candles in the picture and we have a hint underneath the picture that says one small letter surrounded by exactly three big bodyguards on each of its sides. This gets me thinking. Let's look at the page source. Okay, we can see from here that there are a lot of characters. And once again, before starting, let's copy the big string from the page source into our project. And the hint tells us that there are exactly three big bodyguards surrounding something. So that kind of tells me that there's going to be a small character, three big characters, and then the main small character, three big characters, and another small character, because there has to be exactly three big ones. So to do this, I need to create a few functions. Well, first of all, I need to create a function to figure out if something is a big character and if something's a small character. So let's start by creating the tests for big and small characters. And the way I'll do this function for testing for a big character is, so the function will take an input, which will be the character, and I will return true or false depending on whether that character is between the ASCII codes 90 and 65, which are uppercase A to uppercase Z. And similarly, I'll do the same thing for the small one, except for the ASCII codes will be different. And the ASCII codes for testing the smaller characters will be 122 to 97, which are lowercase a and lowercase z. So now I want to create a function that takes something that is nine characters and tests whether it matches our description of three bodyguards. So the first one will need to be a small character. The fourth one, which is the middle one, has to also be a small character. And the last one has to be a small character too. And everything else has to be big. So I'll create a function that tests the opposite of this and returns false if any of them get triggered. Otherwise, it will return true. Before we start, we want to remove all the new lines because that will break our test match function and it will return something completely wrong. We want to create a temporary function that holds nine letters. And I'll just initialize it with the uppercase A characters. And now that we're looping through each character in a string, we want to remove the first element of our temporary list and add the current character to the very end. So we can always get a small snapshot of nine characters of where we are. And the middle one will be the one that we would return if our test match function is valid. And now that we have the characters that surround our current character, we want to call the test match function with that and see if it matches. And if everything is valid, let's just print it out. And I'll use this end equals empty parameter just so I can print it all in one line. And now let's see what our Python interactive says about our function. Okay. Uh, the Python interactive returns this word and we can try copying it. Okay, now we can copy this to the URL and it brings us to a page where it says linked list.php. Let's try changing the URL to linked list.php as the website tells us to do so. And now we have apparently passed the third level. That was pretty easy. And that looks like it was the end of this challenge. And I hope someone learned something new from this and I'll see you in the next one.